The fallout from a confrontation between diners and the RV Yemeni is right now continuing tonight. On Friday evening, Yemeni, who works for Canadian-based outlet Rebel News, approached a group of diners in the CBD who told him to F off, obviously saying the word, not uh, censoring it like I just did there. Now, video posted to YouTube shows a man walking over to swipe away the Rebel microphone, apparently, before a security guard shoves him back. Take a look at this. Now we do know that according to news.com.au, Victoria police are investigating, saying that a man pushed two others before leaving the area. Uh, now obviously there were many videos posted about this. There was one uh, filmed by Real Ruksha, and you can check out our interview uh, on our YouTube channel with him, by the way. Uh, there was the one posted to YouTube that we just showed, and there was also one filmed by Rebel Cameras. Now, you can go to our website, 6newsau.com, where we have links to all of those, so you can make up your own mind, but we don't have time to show every single video. Uh, so that is just what we know from one. Uh, now, when asked why he didn't actually leave the group alone, Yemeni told Six News that a journalist's job is to ask tough questions, often at times from people who don't want to answer them after doing something wrong. He goes on to say that he tries not to walk away from people trying to intimidate me. I prefer to expose them for who and what they are. Now he goes on to explain he has a security guard because, quote unquote, since receiving death threats for my work, Rebel has a policy that I have to attend public events with security. Yemeni defending his guard, shoving the man, saying he applied uh, applied proportional force based on the threat. Now you can read his full answers to our multiple questions on our website. I'll say it again, 6newsau.com, entire answers, no edits there. So um, uh, that's really good for context. Now, reaction online to this has been mixed with some, including those who support Avi most of the time, questioning why he didn't walk away, while others said he did act appropriately. On Twitter, the phrases Avi Yemeni and Jewish Nazi have been trending with the latter referring to Yemeni's own comments describing himself as the world's proudest Jewish Nazi in a since deleted tweet he said that they're getting desperate now we'll continue to monitor this story and bring you the latest updates make sure you see them by subscribing to our YouTube channel with full notifications if you want to help keep us independent go to patreon.com forward slash six news you donate just four dollars a month for a world of exclusive benefits and follow us on social media at six news AU. again full answers to our questions from Yemeni and more details on this story go to the link in the description our website six news